Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, here to review Separation, uh, the seventh film directed by William Brent Bell, uh, which Open Road Films will be giving a world premiere to on April 30th, 2021. Um, if you're familiar with Brent Bell's uh, previous works, there was The Devil Inside, uh, found footage horror film from 2012, uh, and The Boy, which was popular enough to score a sequel, Brahms, The Boy 2. Uh, but if you've seen any of those, you might uh, have an idea of what kind of a narrative you're in store for. Uh, it's based on a script from first-time screenwriters Nick Amadeus and Josh Braun, uh, both who have written, other th written, written and or produced other things, mind you, but this is their first narrative script. Um, concerns uh, Maggie and Jeff, played by Mamie Gummer and Rupert Friend. Uh, friend is also executive producing. Uh, they are a couple, they have a young daughter named Jenny, played by Violet McGraw, uh, but they are clearly in a state of uh, extreme uh, dysfunction, if you will. Uh, he is a comic book artiste uh, who hasn't worked in three years. Um, the last project he did involved these very creepy puppets that uh, are uh, stacked up in his daughter's room, uh, which will come to be utilized uh, later in the film. And she's basically only able to support them because she works for her father, played by Brian Cox, who's this high-profile lawyer, uh, and she resents having to make that sacrifice to uh, have all their needs met. There's also a babysitter named Samantha, uh, played by Madeline Brewer, um, who uh, Maggie doesn't seem all that happy about either. Uh, Things get rolling pretty quickly. Uh, divorce proceedings happen. She basically gets uh, full custody of Jenny, uh, and he seems kind of fine with that until he learns that uh, she's going to move out of state and take the kid with her. Uh, and only then does he seem kind of dismayed. But before the conversation that's divulged in is finished, uh, someone viciously uh, runs Maggie over in the street and she dies. Uh, and then it seems like perhaps her spirit is haunting uh, the house that he lives in with Jenny through uh, these um, uh, through these puppets that become larger than life and menacing and threaten them in various ways. Um, this is a narrative that is stuffed with all kinds of peripheral uh, attributes that are seemingly red herrings, but really just feel like it, it, it's trying to do too much when it probably would have worked better if it were a little uh, simpler, uh, because it gives us so many opportunities for uh, characters that say terrible uh, or kind of silly things that really take you out of the tone, which is too bad because um, it was lensed by Carl Walter Lindenlob, who lends quite a few uh, studio films in the 90s like Independence Day and Stargate and um, Universal Soldier. Uh, so there are some very interesting uh, sequences involving the puppets. Uh, even uh, they focus on one that in the credits is named Nazera, played by Troy James, who looks like a demonic Marcel Marceau. Uh, and the, the puppet that's supposed to be the personification of uh, Mamie Gummer's character reminded me kind of of uh, those old FX films starring uh, Brian Brown. Uh, but anything beyond that, it just doesn't work. Mamie Gummer's fun in a campy kind of way, much like her uh, performance in John Carpenter's The Ward. But uh, Rupert Friend is uh, so aggravating of this bumbling fool uh, that could have been uh, come across in so many other more elegant ways. Um, which is just interesting considering he is a uh, executive producer. I mean, we have character, the boss, he, he does get hired uh, as an inker uh, at, he gets hired inking for a friend of his that's become a comic book mogul in New York, uh, and somebody's looking for someone with a deep understanding of misery, and just so happens to be him standing right there. Uh, overall, uh, I would say Separation is worthy of uh, one and a half out of five stars. Uh, it's You've definitely seen worse, but it just seems like there was an opportunity there for it to be so much better considering uh, the cast and crew uh, that worked on it. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.